Okay, on this video I will show you how to encrypt a hard drive. Now you can do this with a, an internal hard drive or an external hard drive. You can also do this with an SD card or a thumb drive. And um, to do this, um, first thing you have to do is go to your Synaptic Package Manager. And search for Crypt Setup. Okay, so if it's not installed, just go ahead and install that. And uh, when you do that, you just go to your system, administration, and disk utility. Now, I have a flash drive plugged into my um, computer. And as you can see here, if I go to places, you can see it right here. Now, when you go to your um, disk utility, it should be, it should find it somewhere down here. Now, all you have to do is uh, click it and um, go del to delete. This is going to format it. So, um, if you have anything in that flash drive, uh, you want to back it up first. And you just click delete partition. Okay, um, if, it, if it gives you this error, that would mean you need to unmount it first so just go to your computer and then right click it and go to unmount okay so once oh, you unmount it you just uh, select it again and go to delete and click delete partition okay so uh, once that's done you click it again and uh, from here you can select uh, how big you want this partition to be. Um, usually uh, the things that you probably would want encrypted are documents and documents don't take a lot of space. So what you can do is create a, a small partition for your uh, private documents. So I'm just gonna create here a maybe a hundred or two hundred uh, megabytes partition and I'll name it uh, private and uh, I'll just leave it as fat because it's a small partition and you gotta make sure you uh, check this uh, encrypt uh, underlying device and uh, once you do that you just uh, click create and now you have to uh, choose a password so try to pick a complicated password something that's not easy to be cracked So you type it twice, and then uh, just click create. And as you can see now, um, I have that 236 megabyte uh, partition. It's still working on it, you can see it right here. Once it's done, you can see that there's a lock next to the icon for it. Now I have the unallocated space the, the other space that I didn't use, I can use that. I can just click that and um, just choose the, the rest of the space and um, just name it flash drive. And I'm not going to encrypt this one because I'm not going to be putting any private data in it. And uh, you just click create. And it should create a partition in the rest of the space that was uh, unallocated. So once that's done, what I'll do is um, I will unplug my flash drive. So I just unplugged it and then I'm gonna plug it back in. Okay so once uh, it's plugged in you should get a a window that will pop up and ask you for the password to get access to your encrypted partition. So you just uh, type your password and click connect. And it should take a couple seconds and um, you will have access to that encrypted partition. And as you can see on my desktop I have flash drive which is the unencrypted partition and then I have private. And since I entered the password, 
you can see here that uh, the lock is uh, is unlocked. So just uh, now you can put your private um, information in this uh, encrypted partition and the, the rest you can just put it in the other partition so you can have access to it in uh, many different computers. Okay, that's it for now and uh, thanks for watching.